When the world was yet young, Spider Woman's children had grown and scattered to the four corners of the world to raise families of their own. She grew lonely and called on the wind. Husband, son, come and warm my hands with your face. The son called back. I cannot, for without my company the corn would not grow and our children would be hungry. She called on the wind. Brother Earth, come and cheer me with your dainty creatures. Earth called back. I cannot, for without my company, the deer would not run, and our children would be hungry. She called on the wind, Sister Rock, come and bejewel me with your precious stones. Rock called back, I cannot, for without my company, the flint would go uncovered, and our children would have no arrowheads with which to hunt, and would be hungry. With these answers, Spider Woman grumbled. My children receive all that I have created while I remain lonely. I shall weave a web, and come what may, they shall keep me company or feed my ravenous belly. And with that, she wove a great web across the sky. She disguised herself as a large spider, waiting patiently in the corner of her great web, waiting to see what would fall into her trap. Ant was busy collecting food for the coming winter and did not see Spider's web. With a flick of her wrist, he was trapped. Mother Spider, Mother Spider, why do you trap me here? Can you not see that there is work to be done? Brother Ant, I am lonely, and you shall keep me company or you shall fill my belly, for I am bored and hungry as well. Mother Spider, Brother Earth brings winter quickly, and if I do not bring food to my family, we will not have enough to eat when it is cold. My family has left me. Why should I care for yours? My children are scattered to the wind. My sister and brothers cannot be bothered to visit. My own husband deserts me for the needs of others. I am bitter. Mother Spider, I cannot help you with your bitterness, but I can share my wisdom. Those who have patience bring good things into their life. Those without patience brew nothing but more resentment and bitterness. Perhaps you should sit longer and listen to the wind instead of the whispers inside your head. Mother Spider thought upon these things and heard their truth. Brother Ant, perhaps you are right. Go, feed your family. I shall practice patience and perhaps the patience shall replace the bitterness. With a flick of her wrist, Ant was free and Spider was left to her thoughts. Patience did not come easily, and she found herself brooding once again. A beautiful butterfly floated upon the breeze, singing a sweet summer melody that reached Spider's ears. With a quick flick of the wrist, Butterfly was ensnared in Spider's web. Mother Spider, Mother Spider, why do you trap me like this? Can you not see that it is a beautiful summer day meant for freedom and singing? Sing for me, Sister Butterfly, for I am bitter and lonely, and your sweet song lightens my burden. I cannot sing when I am trapped, Mother Spider. It makes me fearful and sad, and I can only sing when I am happy. Then you shall make a fine meal for my empty belly. Oh no, Mother Spider, I am magical. I can grant any wish you desire. Merely whisper it in my ear, and it shall be yours. Mother Spider thought on this. Any wish? Any wish you desire, Mother Spider, and you shall sing for me still. If I am free, I shall sing the sweetest melody to ever touch your ears, Mother Spider. Spider flicked her wrist and Butterfly was free. She fluttered happily and trilled the sweetest melody the summer breeze has ever carried. Come close, Sister Butterfly, so that I might whisper my wish. The butterfly flew close and Spider whispered, I wish I wasn't lonely. A single teardrop, like a drop of dew, trembled on the web below. Butterfly nodded solemnly, I shall take your wish to the wind. And off she fluttered, singing a sad song in honor of Spider. Spider wept, her web was still. Her bitterness had turned to sadness and her loneliness grew. From above she heard a buzzing, buzz buzz, buzz buzz. She looked up. Big fly flew overhead, messenger of her husband, the sun. He hummed as he buzzed and looked down at her. Hello, Mother Spider. Why do you weep? 
I am lonely, big fly. My children are gone. My husband and brothers and sister are gone. I am a bitter old woman. I have caught no one to keep me company, and my wish goes unheard on the wind. I bring a message from the sun. He says he has gone behind the mountains, and it is time for the cook fires to be lit. Gather your web and come home. You shall be lonely no longer tonight, Mother Spider. Mother Spider smiled. Her bitterness and loneliness lifted, and she offered a prayer of thanks for Brother Ant's wisdom and Sister Butterfly's wish as she returned home to the warm arms of her husband. <laughs>